Hello, this is Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and in this section we're going to explore using the TI-89 calculator to do logarithms and square roots. Uh, you know, we'll have a few little sections here on some of the more basic functions, this being one of them, and then we'll go on into some of the more complicated algebraic and calculus functions and such as we get on down the, down the line. But for now, let's talk about uh, logs and square roots because you'll be using those a lot when you use the calculator. Um, easiest thing first, the square root button is right here in blue on the calculator and so to use that is exactly how you might expect. Put a square root right here, blue, second function, and if you want to take the square root of 4, put a 4 in there. If you forget to close the parentheses, the calculator will tell you that you're missing a parentheses. Go ahead and hit escape to back out of that and just add your parentheses. And the square root of 2 is, I'm sorry, the square root of 4 is 2, just like you might expect. Uh, just one more example, square root of 16, just like you might expect, is going to be 4. So it functions just like you might expect. You have to hit the square root first, hit the number, close the parentheses, uh, and there you go. And so it's, it's right near the um, exponent uh, command there because, you know, exponentiation and uh, root are kind of opposites of one another. So they're both in the same side of the calculator. So you'll use square roots a lot. Now, uh, what if you wanted to take a cube root? Well, there's more than one way to do that. First, before we even get there, there's another way to take square root if you want. Remember that a square root is the same thing as raising something to the one-half power. So if we take 4 and raise it, and just to make it clear, let me do a parentheses, one-half power, just like that, 4 raised to the one-half power, we should get exactly what we got up here, and we do. 4 raised to the one-half gives us 2. Uh, 16 raised to the one-half, one divided by two, uh, is going to give you four. So I'm just showing you that there's more than one way to do things on this calculator. You can go ahead and hit the square root button, get the, the answer, it'll be a little bit more clear what you're trying to do, but you can always raise things to whatever power you want. If you want a square root, it's to the one-half power, a cube root is one-third, fourth root is one-fourth, and so on. So if you wanted to, to take the, uh, the third root of something, then you could say 8 and raise it to the power of 1 third. And that would be taking the cube root of something, so or the cube root of 8 in this case. So if you hit enter, you'll get 2. The reason that you get 2 is because if you're taking a cube root, then 2 times 2 times 2, so doing it 3 times, 2 times 2 times 2 does give you 8, and that's the right answer. So you can use this power button to take roots of whatever number you want, it's okay, but the calculator also